Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Um, events of today are very worrisome. Exactly. We expected that um, after all that has been happening, we were going to have a sober government. Look, the, the, the matters that are before us today, three different senior leaders of, uh, of the PF all summoned at one day with different days on which these offenses were committed, the purported offenses would have been committed. Just think about it. Was there no way to summon our leaders at different intervals? But you see, the aim of this government is to cripple the PF. You can clearly see that they've picked the top cream of our leadership. The vice president is inside. The secretary, gen yes, to the secretary general is inside. The, uh, the, our media uh, chairperson is inside. Let me tell this government, you can do all you want to do to the PF. Please know that you can kill the PF, but you never kill the will of our people. Yeah. Amen. This country, right now where we are, members of this country, citizens of this country are very worried about the happening of this country. The cost of living is what you must be able to arrest. Don't arrest innocent citizens who are speaking on behalf of the people because you know that this is not the Zambia we know. Mm -hmm. There are many issues happening. Uh, you want to swing? Swing. Swing. Let me swing. I just want to agree with him that you can be surprised. The former Minister of Justice and the Vice President of a big political party to be arrested for failure to surrender passport. Hmm. Sure. You can him. The best I want to speak to Honorable Mim. The ballot will Did you invite or invite the, your brother and colleague, Honorable Given Rubinda, to surrender the passport? And then I've been briefed by the police here that the Secretary General has been detained for seditious information. Obviously, seditious information is a bearable thing and they expect the police to do the right thing, including one of Jackie, the minister in charge of internal security, to be sensitive to the feelings of the people. I am told the, the chairperson for media and information is also arrested and detained for calling people to protest. That is provided in our constitution as right. a mean right. of expression. Yes. Now to find that the three leaders of one political party are charged on the same day, arrested on the same day, and turn into different police stations as though they are facing serious offenses that you think if you keep them in one police station they will be able to connive or temper with the uh, information and the evidence. I want to appeal to the Minister for Home Affairs to exercise his right conscience as a lawyer because lawyers are defenders of human rights. If you begin abusing your friends' rights, individual rights, on the purported failure to surrender diplomatic passport, surely we, need, we can do better than this as a country. Yeah, of course we are here to check on our client, uh, the Secretary General of the Patriotic Front, uh, Honorable uh, Rafa Nakachinga. And we are aware that currently we are still gathering information as to the real reason why he's being detained. The police just picked him up and they have not officially charged him. So we are still trying to uh, liaise with the police. Um, currently he's been brought to Emerson Police. And um, the uh, colleagues at uh, Fawcett Quarters have not been here to officially charge uh, um, the suspect. So we're trying to see if uh, we should ensure that we curb the abrogation of his human rights. Of course we know, as a matter of fact, we are all um, uh, citizens of this 
country, we all have the right to speak within this country. We've got the democratic uh, right constitutionally protected and guaranteed uh, to speak and belong to a political party. So what is happening now is a worrisome issue because currently even the police are telling us to say the arresting officers are the ones that force headquarters. Our colleagues here who are police officers, who are equally officers of the court, cannot give us uh, a, a definite uh, position because they are not aware of the reason why uh, Honorable uh, Nakajinda has been uh, held here. So we are, we are only hopeful that at least a democracy should, should strive uh, in the spirit of protecting human rights and ensuring that um, at least unwarranted uh, arrests should not continue. And otherwise, we are hopeful we are still pushing to see uh, if we can secure for, uh, their arrest officially and also secure their police bonds because we already have treaties that are ready uh, to sign their, their bonds. This is what we mean when we say there is, uh, you know, the democratic space is shrinking. How do you arrest the senior, you know, senior officials of a political party at once, the three of them? So the aim is to silence the PF. But please be assured that voices are still a lot of them outside here. We shall speak and we shall speak. Please, Mr. President, this is not the way things should be done. We are hoping that uh, quickly, you know, I mean, they are inside, but quickly, I think these are terrible offenses. The sureties are there. We really desire that these people, these senior leaders must be released immediately. We are calling for the release of Honorable Nakachinda, where we are here at Emmersdale. We are calling for the release for uh, our Vice President, Honorable Given Lubinda. We are calling also for the release of our Information Chairperson, Ambassador Mwamba. We have the sureties and we have what it takes. I mean, we will sign and then they need to come out. Then they can be taken to court. So what has worried us is, it's a dark cloud for Zambia. What has worried us is why design it in a fashion that offenses that were, were you know, were done at the alleged offenses committed at different days and different times. But then you decide to call them at one time so that maybe, so that we should not have people to speak for, for the PF because of the things going on. No, no, we don't want you to shift to the attention of Zambians. Zambians are following exactly what is happening. What is happening yeah, at the registrar, what is happening with Honorable Mao Sampa, what is happening in the country, the cost of living, those are the things that, you know, you are planning that Zambians now must swell their attention to start talking about their arrests. Please, we are begging with you, allow the democracy to strive. Thank you. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.